on today's spooky spot, we're going to be having a look at the Halloween Crunch, Captain Crunch's Halloween Crunch cereal. What? What do you mean it's not Halloween? It's not even October. Well, you know what? Why not? Why not do one more scare for the month of October? Um, this was given to me, this was sent to me by the Review Revolution. I want to actually thank you, sir, for sending this my way. When I saw the review that he did on the limited edition Captain Crunch Halloween Crunch, I thought to myself, geez, that cereal looks awfully nice. It does look awfully terrifying, as it were. And he was nice enough to send it my way. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And I thought, you know what? Obviously, no sense in reviewing this next year. Let's review it this year. Um, before we actually get to the cereal itself, the box itself looks very cool. Ghost turn milk green. And normally, at least from where I've grown up, and it could just be my my background, I don't know. Normally when stuff turns green, it's an indication it's gone bad. Not in this case. Not in this case. It's a terrifying green signifying Halloween. Down below we got ourselves some pumpkins. Good old captain. And carved in the pumpkin there. And again, it's limited edition. Sweetened corn and oat cereal. <laughs> Let's zoom in to this, shall we? This caught my eye. Product enlarged to show detail. You know, really, that's not that far off when you think about it. That's not really that much bigger than I would imagine cereal to be anyways. But I guess they have to put it in there anyways. Who knows? On the side, try these new scarific flavors. We've got Captain Crunch's Oops, All Berries, and he's kind of like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't taking the blame for this one. There's also the Chocolately Crunch, which is something that I reviewed earlier as well. You can visit us at www.capincrunch.com and www.facebook.com forward slash Crunch. I didn't realize the Captain. He's moving up in the world. I didn't realize he had a Facebook page. On the back, Captain Crunch's pumpkin template, the largest pumpkin. E oh, and actually, these are interesting as well. They give us little stats. Did you know the world, the largest pumpkin ever grown, weighed in at over eight, uh, 1,800 pounds? That's insane. On the side here, jack o' lanterns originally consist of candles placed in hollowed out turnips to keep away ghosts and spirits. Geez, I, I think pumpkins are a little bit better of an idea. Seeds that are related to the pumpkin have been found in caves dating back over 7,000 years in Mexico. And finally, did you know that pumpkins are made up of 90% water? 90% water. You know what, in fact, that, that brings up an interesting quick story that I can tell you guys. I remember two years ago carving a pumpkin. And the pumpkin, see my cats are even excited, the pumpkin seemed relatively good. I carved it, it seemed like it was fine, there was no mold, no nothing. And uh, the next day, I came home to find my pumpkin had disintegrated. It was just a pile of goo on the table, and I had pumpkin juice all over the floor. Scary? Yes, I know, I was scared as well. Speaking of scared, you can get yourself a very own pumpkin template. It says, buy a set of carving tools, including a pumpkin template transfer punch and pumpkin carving saw. Uh, make a tape a photocopy of this template to your pumpkin. Feel free to make it bigger if you want a larger pumpkin. And use a punch, poke holes through the edges of the template and into the pumpkin every 1 8 inch. Using carving saw and start within the inside shapes first. Follow the holes around each shape, sawing each one out until cap'n is visible. Exercise caution with sharp objects used for uh, pumpkin carving. Keep carving tools out of reach of children. Mind you, if you had the pumpkin carver, that thing can't even cut butter. I've tried. <laughs> Anyways, that's the cereal in a nutshell, the box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring myself in a bowl right there. Nice black bowl. Just like so. I also want to bring your attention, yes, I've brought the spoon back. It's not the same spoon, I've got many of them, which is the benefit of buying cutlery. You generally get multiples of the exact same item. Yes, it is, again, still the worst spoon ever created. 
but you know what, I guess it's good enough. It's good enough for this review. I'm gonna get this opened up. Again, thank you to the Review Revolution who sent this my way. That was very nice of him. A, a nice guy, the Review Revolution. And get this poured off here. And one thing is already apparent to this guy's eyes, because my eyes are open after all. Uh, we got ourselves the regular pumpkin, or the pumpkin, come on, spawn. We got the regular Captain Crunch cereal bits. Nothing new there. Everybody has seen those before. But we've also got these blobs. These, I guess, represent ghosts. Here's one that's probably a little more, well, maybe not as easy to see. But there, yes, there is apparently... Can you see it? It ain't mold, folks. There's little green specks on there. And I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to deduce with my scientific mind, I'm willing to deduce when you add water, or milk in this case, to this mix, those little green specks is what's gonna turn the cereal green. Speculate along with me. I'm gonna get myself in some milk. This is where the magic will start. And yes, it is 1% low fat milk. That's how a spot rolls. I like to, I personally like to have a low fat milk. There's no need necessarily to go with a high fat milk because that would just be crazy. And uh, right here, let's draw the camera in. Can you notice already how those bits, this may not be the same bit that I showed you, but how that bit turned almost all green you may also see that it's starting to leak into my milk. A bit of a stir. And I don't know, you know what? I'm not as excited by the fact that the cereal is turning milk, or turning green. I'm kind of more excited by the fact that these ghosts are starting to pop up with little green bits. I find that a little more fascinating. Give this a bit of a quick stir. And yes, it is, yep. Yeah. You can't probably see it, but I can see it. This milk is going green. I would imagine if you've left it long enough, it would probably be a nice nice shade of green. But then by that point, your milk is all soggy. And I really don't like soggy cereal. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give this a try a the Cap'n Crunch Halloween Crunch Limited Edition Halloween Cereal. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Well, the Cap'n Crunch cereal itself is your regular variety. There's nothing different about it. However, however, these little pink bits, these ghosts, as you see, they're more of a strawberry flavor. They're very similar. They're very similar to a Frankenberry. A little stronger in flavor but you know what? That is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. All right, so it's not necessarily October anymore, but again, I thought, why not? My good friend Review Revolution sent these my way. I was totally gonna review this. Delicious cereal, my friends. Delicious cereal. Hey, I know, my cat is even interested too. She wants some. I don't think I'm gonna give her any though. We were today looking at the limited edition Cap'n Crunch Halloween Crunch cereal. It's quite delicious, and yes, it is correct. The ghosts are turning my milk a delightful shade of green. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Another spooky spot, but should, should be the last one. Today we're looking at the Halloween Crunch cereal. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!